Good evening, class. Welcome. Welcome to the class, Norma Patricia, Josué Garcia, Nelly Lipet, Concepción. Thank you for being here. Norma Patricia, Nelly Lipet, and Celia Yuchen. And you, it seems that somebody is having a party after class. Yes. One girl is, is having a special meeting after class. Okay. No, okay yeah. she, she already had it. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah. A special no party today, teacher. No party, only special event. No, I'm busy. <laughs> okay, you so are tired. busy. Norm. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, okay. <laughs> no, but I mean someone who is with the camera on. Alguien que está con la cámara activada. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, only the smile <laughs> is telling me, right? Concepcion, okay. Enjoy it. Celebrate, teacher. You have been celebrating. Wow, excellent. Graduation, my darling. Ah, amazing. So it today was your daughter's graduation. Yes. And did you have lunch or are you having a dinner? Uh, lunch. Ah, oh, okay. No, but I mean from the school. The school. Okay, oh. yeah. It was a lunch. Night. Or tomorrow. But excuse tomorrow, me. The celebration from the from the from the school. No celebration yes. from the school. Today. Ah, Today yes. in the morning and then at noon. Lunch. <clears throat> at noon. Ah, okay. That's why you are with a different look. <laughs> they came very elegant. Wow. <laughs> to to be in uh, in, in the Front Como page. bastantes estamos así, igual que ella dijo. Oh, now we know that Norma Patricia is having a special event too. Okay, mm -hmm. that's great. Excellent. And it's Friday, right? <clears throat> so enjoy it. And tomorrow you may have uh, or take your children to the to continue celebrating because it is weekend, yeah? It is a good reason to celebrate. So congratulations, uh, Miss. Thank you. Mr. Thank you, my pleasure. Mr. Tony Elias, welcome, Josue, hello. Great to have you here. Yesterday we were missing you. We miss you a lot yesterday. Yeah. Okay, but now you're here. Hello. Hello, hello. Okay, class, listen, we're going to get started because it is exactly the time to get started. And here we go, okay? I'm going to start as every single day by sharing my <clears throat> PowerPoint presentation with you so you can uh, be aware about the objective and the agenda and the reminders too. Thank you for being here. I appreciate that. And here we go. Today is Friday, November 18th, 2022. And we have, okay, in our agenda for our video conference number 13, greetings as activity number one. We're going to have a feedback. We're going to have the objective as every single day. And here, reported sickness. You're going to be talking about how to report to your workplace when you are sick, okay? And the sickness that you have. Recognize and use idioms. Today is a special class because you're going to be working with idioms. Those are phrases that have no meaning if you try to translate the word by word, okay? It is a group of words that they have a meaning, but only if they are together in the different contexts. And the task is recognize and use idioms at page 33 and 34 and the wrapping up of the class, okay? So this is what I was telling you. And again, a reminder because today is Friday, I know that, you know, a lot of celebration, festivities, events, but remember also to be working in the homeworks for Unit three, again, a reminder for the cameras on, 
uh, your full name, no problem. The sound of, unless you are told not to do so. And here we have the attendance. It is expected that you and that you must be connected 120 minutes. The attendance is taken twice. And at the end, one of you is going to stay with me in order to have a one-on-one -on -one class, okay? You know this by heart because I tell you every day. The, the camera on, the mute button, the two chats are available in the breakout rooms. You will have the ask for help button and above all respect and here we are okay so by november 22 or november 22nd you need to be over with your homeworks for unit or section number three and then very soon we're going to be over and very soon you are going to be in level number six congratulations now here we have the objectives I need a volunteer to help me reading the general objective. And that is, who is the volunteer to read the general objective? Thank you, Miss Concepcion. Activate the microphone if you are so nice. <laughs> general objective. Participants will develop, develop competence that will allow them to mark skills progress and ask an answer question to check that maintenance procedures are met in face to face and telephone conversations with others in work situations. Thank you so much. I appreciate. I need another another volunteer to help the class reading the specific and the class objective. The two objectives because the specific objective is very short. Okay. <clears throat> The volunteer. Thank you, Miss Carla. Welcome. Uh, a specific objective. Participants will be able to make a phone call to report sickness. And the class objective too, Miss Carla, please. <laughs> class objective. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to recognize and use idioms. Idioms, very well. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate your participation, girls. And here we have, okay, this was uh, what we did yesterday, if you remember, okay? Now, the present perfect tense, but class, tell me, what do you remember about what we worked on yesterday on the present perfect tense? When do we use the present perfect tense? Do you remember? In which cases do you use the present perfect tense? When we want to talk about universes or actions or stains stains or habitats that standard in the past past okay. and continue to perfect okay very well you're saying that we use the present perfect in order to describe or express uh situations that began in the past but they are not finished they are unfinished and maybe they continue in the present it can be about the states or habits, yes? Okay, or routines, very well. And yesterday also we established the difference between the present perfect tense and the simple past tense. What is the big deal with those two sentences? So you can identify easily, ah, this is simple past. No, this is present perfect tense. Do you remember? Pass uh, the action finished, no continued. Okay, in the past, the action is over, it is finished, it doesn't continue, yes? And usually the sentence has a period of time, right? We discussed this yesterday. Yesterday is in past tense because 
yesterday is gone, right? And let's see, the modal auxiliary that we use to build the sentences in present perfect tense is, which is the modal auxiliary? Do you remember? Is it the verb to be? How is, has. Have and has, very well. In present perfect, but in past perfect we use had and remember there is no special person. And that is regarding the modal verb, but the main verb must be in simple present, simple past or past participle. Past participle. Past participle, very well. So right now you are going to give me, okay, tell me some verbs that are in past participle, okay? Tell me simple present, simple past, and past participles, past participles so we can recall, para que los recordemos, okay? If we say, for example, sleep, present, simple past, slept. The past participle, slept, yes or no? And then the verb uh, see, tell me the simple past of the verb see. So, okay, so, and the past participle, Seen very well. Um, speak simple past spoke okay. past participle spoken spoken very well. Um, one regular good believe the past tense of believe. It is a regular verb. Believe. Believed very well. And the past participle? Believed. Believed, okay. Believed, believed. The regular verbs are kind of easier because usually they have the same spelling and most of them have also the same pronunciation for simple past and past participle. But in order to build the present perfect tense, we use the past participle, yeah? For instance, if you say, she, she has spoken <clears throat> Russian, Things she was 13, to tell you an example, yeah? She has spoken Russian, Russian things, she was 13, is that okay? So here we have the subject, yeah? The subject, the modal auxiliary has, because it is a person singular, the main verb or the principal verb is spoken, why? because it is the past participle. And here we are contextualizing the complement and full stop at the end. Okay, tell me another example in present perfect tense using he, she, I, you, we, they, okay? Mm -hmm. They have watched the soccer match. Yeah. They have watched the soccer match. And so on. Uh, if we say he has made dinner, you see? We use it every day in English and in Spanish. He has made dinner. Él ha hecho la cena. Yes? So that's it. And it is the Ooh. same structure. Now, class, <clears throat> do you have any question or any comment about this structure, the present perfect tense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. 
the one that we were studying yesterday? Question, comments? Preguntas, comentarios? It is only to practice. And also to practice the verbs in past participle. Is that okay? Yeah? Okay, that is the problem, the verbs in past participle. And now we are going to have a feedback. In the feedback, if you remember, we were working with this conversation, yes or no? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see, by the way, the technician is coming. Great, I hope he can fix this problem. And you were also building yesterday an original um, conversation reporting an issue, yes? From your workplace. Do you remember that? And you were sharing with the class also. So right now I would like to have two participants in order to practice this conversation. Hello to volunteers, let me see. Since I don't have volunteers, I'm going to choose the volunteers. I'm going to volunteer you. Um, thank you, sir. Okay, Mirna Lisette, thank you so much. And another volunteer? Yes, when? Sir. Okay, Sandra, Leticia, and Mirna Lisette. Here yes, we go. Okay, okay, in the next time, but right now, when? Okay, Wendy, you the second chance. Mirna Lisette and Sandra Leticia. Mirna, you begin. Okay, here we go. In other okay. words, Mirna reads Luke and your partner George. Yes, sería yo. Mm, excuse me, I don't. Uh, Sandra, you you read George and Mirna reads Luke. Let's okay. begin. <clears throat> Begin. Mirna, are you connected? Mirna. Mirna Lisa. Hello, Mirna. Hello, <laughs> Mirna Lisa. Hello, hello. Okay, but Wendy is here. So Wendy, so you see when something belongs to you. Okay, Wendy, you read Luke and Sandra reads George. Let's begin. Okay. What wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have I have I have checked it everywhere and it won't. Turn on. That that's too bad. How about the connection? How you check it? the cables are plugged? As it teacher plugged. Yes, plugged. Uh, yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, uh, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I hear that has mm -hmm. the maintenance team replaces the battery. No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see, by the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope uh, he, he can fix the problem, this problem. Okay, thank you girls, I appreciate that. 
Only remember that we say checked. 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 Forget checked. about this e checked. 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 Okay. Okay. Yes. And verified. 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 Okay. Replaced. They haven't. Okay. Two more volunteers to practice the conversation. Me, maybe. Okay, Darío. Thank you so much. We need another partner to practice with Darío Antonio. We need another volunteer. No, 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 no. That cannot be. Me, teacher. Okay, Norma, Patricia. Thank you so much. Here we go. Okay, Darío, you begin. Okay. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Lou. Well, I don't know how to check the egg it very well and wrong to know. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician has checked it too. We have not verify the rest on the computer. Anna has, has had some problem with her equipment. Yeah, I, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sent them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Greg, I hope he can fix this problem. Thank you so much. Great. I appreciate your participation. Let me see the message. Okay, so I'm going to uh, call your names to take the first attendance before we go over the topic because we need to be very focused because it is about idioms what we're going to be working today and you're going to be using idioms different expressions in order to uh, report to your workplace that you are sick okay so here we go mm, let's see atilio i think i saw atilio okay but not at the moment Brandon, Brandon is absent. Claudia, ah, uh, Claudia says she was not going to be here. Miss Concepcion, present. Thank you so much. Darío. I'm, I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Stephanie Carranza. Present. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Stephanie. I appreciate that. Josue. Josue, where are Present you? Present teacher. Thank you. Yeah, because you were here very early. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Great. Marianne. Marianne Scarlett. Not today. Marina Jansi, not today. Norma, she's here. Norma Leticia. Okay, thank no, you so no, much. No. Always here. Nelly Lilibet, not today. Oh, yeah, she's here. Okay, Nelly, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see, Nelson. Thank you so much. Miss Norma Patricia is here. Norma Patricia is here always. Mm, Pablo. Pablo, uh -huh. yeah, you are here. Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. Thank you. Even you participated, yes? No, okay. Okay, no, no problem, but just in time because I'm going to say your name. Okay, Wendy. 
Wendy Maricela, here. Thank you. Carla, Sofia, here too. And Miss Celia Cristina, here. Thank you so much. Listen. Okay, great. Now listen class. I want you to think about an idiom that you already know and share it with the class. I'm going to share mine first. Yo les comparto el mío primero, okay? And here, let's see, okay. If I say, <clears throat> it is raining, cats and dogs. This is a very common idiom. Raining cats and dogs. Obviously, it is raining water, not cats and dogs. That's why I say that idioms have a different meaning, yeah? And acá está lloviendo muchísimo. What we would say in Spanish, está lloviendo fuertísimo, está lloviendo con rayos y centellas. ¿Qué otra forma tenemos de interpretarlo? A cántaros. That's okay. Llueve a cántaros. Entonces no vamos a decir, it is raining. Okay, cats and dogs. This is an idiom. Okay. And now, class, do you remember any idiom that is kind of common? You know some, I know that you know some, okay? But probably you don't remember at the moment. So the idea is that you contextualize and associate the meaning. That is why it is not um, suggested to be translating word by word, because sometimes when you ask, uh, to your teachers, to your different teachers, what's the meaning of? And then the teacher tells you, yeah, but tell me the complete sentence or where did you read it? Where did you see it? Donde lo leyó? Donde lo vio? Why? Because we need a context because under different contexts, the, the idioms get a different meaning or one word gets a different meaning, okay? So this is what we're going to be working with right now. And here we go. I'm going to continue sharing the manual. And this is what we did yesterday. Do you remember that here you were also choosing the correct alternative, either have or has, yeah? And also here the explanation on how to use the present perfect, the structure, subject, auxiliary verb, have or has, depending on the subject, the verb, the main verb must be in past participle, the complement, okay? Samples, I have checked the reports. I have not replaced the battery. Affirmative and negative. She has explained her situation. The team has not had that kind of problems. Affirmative and negative, okay? And you were building affirmative and negative sentences using the structure present perfect tense. And also you were building the famous conversation that you presented at the end, correct? And you were practicing also your fluency and your reading skill. And we ended up in uh, activity number seven from your manual, present the conversation in front of your classmates and teachers, that's it. But now we go over here make a phone call to report sickness. Now we have here these questions. Do you often get sick? What are the procedures to report a work absence? You know that depending on the company that you work for, they have different, um, different procedures. So now we're going to have a brainstorming and you are going to share with the class what are the procedures in order to report that you are sick. Now that, you know, a lot of people are very, very sick because of the flu and because of the throat and because of the, you know, of the virus, okay? <clears throat> Actually the flu is another virus. 
what is the procedure? What do you do in order to let your, um, your boss or your coordinator, your supervisor know that you are not going to go to work because you are sick? What is the procedure? ¿Cuál es el procedimiento que hacen para reportarse que es cuando están enfermos o enfermas? Mm, uh -huh. Desde la casa, cuando no se puede levantar por teléfono. Yeah. Ok. Ah, you only make a phone call. Ok. Make a phone call. Yes. Ok. okay. Write an email. Write an email. Ok, very well. Another one. Send a WhatsApp. Okay, very well. Text a message. Text a message. Okay. Another one that is different from these ones? No. You don't need to, to fill in a form. No tiene que completar un formulario. Al, al retornar, sí. Oh, but not when you, because I mean, if now that almost everything is online, you don't have available that uh, form online. Ese formulario no está disponible en línea. Mm, no, en no. Todas las, no en todas las empresas. Ah, okay. But let's see. Uh, fill in a form, yeah? Fill in a form. Or also some people just uh, share, share um, the doctor's prescription, right? Prescription or oh, the doctor's inca... disability. Exactly, on incapacity. Uh -huh, the disability. Okay, very well. And now class, uh, okay, these are the different procedures nowadays, but how often do you get sick? Because I don't know, but in some companies, you know that uh, there are people who get sick very frequently. Yes or no? Sí, claro que sí. Uh -huh. Cuando hay partidos enfermos. So from Sunday on, uh, and there, the, uh, the traffic is going to be, <laughs> in other words, as an excuse. No, but I mean, no, but there are people who, who usually that, I don't know, but maybe they get, uh, depending on the, on, the, on the activity, right, that you develop in your companies, they get sick of their throat very, very frequently or they get the, the, the common flu very frequently, yes? Or maybe they feel like a migraine, they suffer from migraine or headache and the doctors give them some, you know, prescription or they disability that person because of the migraine you cannot even see the light porque con la migraña no pueden ver ni la luz verdad cuando de verdad se sufre la migraña ya yeah? unless you have a, you know been sick of that kind of you know sickness you cannot say but at the beginning i didn't believe about it because i said how he, could it be possible that but it is for true, okay? So class here, we're going to be talking about that. And we're going to share our reality. If you get sick from any, something, you have to share. So Jenny is sick. She calls her boss to explain what the problem is. Listen to your teacher with the conversation, then practice. We have Mr. Reese, he is the one, and Jan. So who is sick? Jani. Who calls the boss? Jani. Why does she call the boss? In order to explain that she is sick. Good morning, this is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese, this is Jani. I have a situation. 
Hi, Jenny, tell me what's the matter. I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Obvio que no, no quiere decir que, que, que literal como un perro, ¿verdad? Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going on around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm tip-top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a, re have a nice rest of the day. Okay? So here we have Mr. Reese and Jenny. I need one of you to read. Mr. Reese and I need one girl to read Jenny. I need one boy to read Mr. Reese and one girl to read Jenny. Okay, I'm going to be waiting like this. Who's going to read Mr. Reese? Thank you, Pablo. Great, excellent. I need Jenny. Me. Okay, you read Jenny. Here we go. I guess. Begin, please. One, two, three. Good morning. This is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Yanni. I have a situation. Pablo, you continue. Uh, I phrase. <laughs> uh, good morning. This is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Yanni. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me what's, what's the metal? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the world too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh yeah, I am the in tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, thank you so much. Once again, good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going on around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah, I'm in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. Two more participants. Two other participants. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to volunteer you. And, <laughs> let's see. Miss Nelly Lilibet, are you available? Yes. Okay, great. Miss Concepcion, are you available? Yes. Okay, girls, here we go. Let's begin. Um, Nelly, you read Mr. Reese and uh, Miss Concepcion Marina, you read Chani. Good morning, this is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese, this is Chani. I have a question. Hi, Yanni. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the water too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I thought you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am tip-top shape. Take it easy, Jani. I hope to see you on Monday. 
Thanks, a little Miss Louise. Have a nice rest of the day. Very well. <clears throat> Notice my stomach is killing me is one idiom. As sick as a dog, another idiom. Under the weather, under the weather is another one, another idiom, but they have added two. There's something going on around, another idiom, tip top shape, one more idiom, and take it easy is another idiom. So class, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms so you can practice this conversation the same as it is. Don't change anything. Switch roles and try to get fluency, to develop fluency. Good morning, Miss. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Johnny. I have a situation. And then try to sound as natural as possible. When you finish reading and you take turns and switch uh, the roles, you get in person. Uh, okay, you continue working and discuss the following questions. Okay, you have one and two questions that you have to answer and write the answers over here. Are we clear about it? Yes? Okay. Yes. Here we go. Let's practice speaking, reading and understanding because the two questions are comprehension questions, reading comprehension questions. Try to participate please, okay? because it is your chance to practice the conversation. Otherwise, I don't know if you have partners who speak English or can practice English with you. At work, well, there is a pair here who work together, but I don't know if they speak English at work. I'm going to send you the invitation, people. Here we go. Okay, join your groups. And let's practice the conversation, switch roles, and answer the questions. Okay, I appreciate when Mirna Lisa joins and Luis Miguel, try to join to group number three. And Tony, okay, bye. We were, we are going to be waiting for you guys. Here you are four, Carla, Concepcion, Nelly, and Mirna Lisette, okay? Bye. Okay. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Yanni. I have a situation. Hi, Yanni. Tell me what's what the matter. I am not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. To two days ago, uh, I was feeling under the warm too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh yeah, I am in TikTok shape. Take it easy, Yanni. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, of Mr. Ruiz. Uh, have a nice rest of the day. Okay. Oi. Good morning. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Johnny. I have a situation. <laughs> okay. um, I understand. To get two days ago, two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. 
oh, really, there's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am I am in tip-top shape. <clears throat> take, take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay. Vamos de nuevo. Rich. Good morning. This is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> Good morning. This is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah, I am tip top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Hooks. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay. Can you go? I'll say him. Thank you. Uh, why can't Jenny go to work? Because she's because she's sick. She's sick. She can't work. Because she is sick. How does it respond to the situation? Because she's sick as a dog. <laughs> ah, sí, cierto, es sí. cierto. Mm -hmm. As a dog. <laughs> Y puede ponerle este okay, her stomach is killing her. Oh no, sí. Her stomach is killing her. Stomach is killing her. Remember girls, stomach, like a K. Al final suena como una K. Stomach. 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 Uh -huh. Por eso dolor de cabeza, stomach ache. Dolor de corazón, heartache. Stomach. Uh -huh. Heartache. Heart. 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 How does Mr. Um, ¿Con quién empiezo? Mm. Con mí, está bien. Entonces, este, yo sería Ramón. Ok. Va, ahorita. Thank you. Because she is sick. Oops. As a dog. No, of the stomach. Plus for Okay. Get in bars and this the following question. Why can you go? Why can Jenny go to work? Because she is sick. No? No. Because a masarita on the issue because the issue can have a stomach. Ah, no, pero no puede subirlo con that. Sí. Perdón. Because killing, killing so much. She. She is killing. She is skilling. She's killing. No, it's killing. She 
so much. Okay. Two. Who does Ruiz respond to the situation? Uh, I, 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 I understand today, two days ago, I was feeling under the weather. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Sería Mr. Ruiz Saiz. I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather, the weather too. Was feeling under the weather. Okay. So let's add those one. Mm -hmm. Creo yo. <clears throat> Listen, hear. Hey, what happened? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> ah, okay, here. Jenny can can't go to work because your stomach is killing her. No, mi estómago no la estaba matando a ella. Her stomach. Her stomach. Her stomach is killing her. Her stomach okay. is killing her. Aquí. Her. Um, her stomach. Uh -huh. Aquí falta. Porque su estómago de ella la está matando, supuestamente, ¿verdad? Está mal del estómago, pues. And now number two, how does Mr. Reese respond to the situation? Mr. Reese says, I understand two days ago I was I in uppercase, right? I was sí, feeling sí, sí, así es, es I que... was feeling under the weather too. Okay. That's good. Now, okay. yes, you can save it. Ahora sí lo puede guardar. Okay. Okay. And read the conversation one more time. So you develop fluency, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Did you finish the practice, girls? Uh, yes, teacher. Ahorita vamos a empezar con las... Ah, uh, to answer the questions? Ah, okay, great. Okay. <laughs> Te digo que es compañera donde dice. Creo que es, también dice: uh, It does not work properly. I am makes a strange nose. Okay. Mire, ¿y ustedes dónde están, niñas? Esta no es la conversación. Sí, teacher, no me digas que nos equivocamos. Sí, le digo. <coughs> uh, esta es de hace dos días. ¿Y dónde estamos? Los estamos en bueno, los ya repasamos lo de hace dos días. Sí. Oh my God. Why? In which world? No, esto es lo de ayer. 
lo que repasamos Ay. también como feedback. <risa> oh my God, this is the one. Este. The idioms. Este. idioms no lo han practicado. Oh my God. Sorry, Sorry teach. No, okay, bien, practice in it. Ahorita, ahorita. Bueno, vamos a seguir practicando, no hay problema. Yes, no, okay, the most you practice, the better you learn the language. Okay. Okay. Qué pena. Okay. Entonces. Bueno, rápido. Va, empecemos. Voy a. Practice para que no corrija. Ok, permítanme, quiero revisar las respuestas. I want to check your answers. Why can Jenny go to work? Because she... Porque ella está matando el estómago. Because her stomach is killing her. Because uh, her stomach is killing her. Porque dice que ella está matando el estómago. Because her stomach... Is killing her. Ajá, está mal del estómago, quiere decir, pero extremadamente mal. Is killing her. Okay, next one. How does Mr. Ruiz respond to the situation? He says, he says he understands. He says. Tercera persona singular. He understands. And in, in have two days free. No, no le dice que tiene dos días libres. Le dice que hace dos días él se sintió mal también. And two days ago, two days ago. Acá tiene la respuesta. Ve ahí. Two days ago, he was feeling under the weather too. And two days ago, he was feeling under the weather too. He was feeling. Under the weather too. Okay. Now I would like you to practice so I can listen to you. Okay. Okay. Le voy a escuchar. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me what's the matter. I am not feeling good today. My stomach is killing me. I am sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, oh yeah, I am in TikTok state. Today is easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay. <clears throat> Let's remember stomach. Forget stomach. about H, stomach. Is killing me. As sick as a dog. Uh -huh. Under the weather. Under the weather. Weather. Como clima. Under the weather too. There's something going on around. I hope you are feeling better because if you say better, es otra cosa. Bitter, agrio, ¿verdad? Better. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. feeling better. Me estoy, espero que te sientas mejor. And, okay, hold it. Someone wants to, Atilio. Um, okay, hold it. I'm going to assign him one, one group. And let's see what else going on around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, en la yeah. parte del tip top, eso es lo que no entiendo. Tip top, <laughs> hey, tip top, tip top. Don't say tick tock, no. Tip top, tip, tip top. Tip top. Tip top shape. Fíjense que van unidas okay. con un hyphen, con un guión. No pueden separarse. Tip top shape, tip top sí, shape. Sí, because tip es propina, ¿no? 
Sí, pero acá significa algo todo diferente. Entonces, miren, uh -huh. por eso, como hay frases que tienen que ir juntitas, ¿verdad? Es que me interesa que lo leamos con más naturalidad, ya a este nivel, ya un poquito más fluido. Ajá. Oh, yeah, I'm in tip-top shape. Take it easy, take it easy. Este es uno bien común que se oye a cada rato, ¿sí o no? Even in Spanish, hey, take it easy. Jenny, I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. And that's it. Okay. Ready to return? Yes. Okay, here we go. Let's get back. Thank you. Welcome back, welcome back. Okay, class, here we go. And we're going to compare your answers because even though the answer is the same, but in some groups they paraphrased the answers. Let's see. Get in person, discuss the following questions. Why can't Jenny go to work? Who wants to tell me the answer? Why does Jenny can't go to work? Because? Because she is sick. Because she is sick. Very good. Another That's potential answer? Because you see as a dog. Mm, because she, if you say she's sick as a dog, no? She no. is as yes. sick uh -huh. as a dog. Uh -huh. Porque si solo dice she's sick as a dog, está enferma como un perro. Ahí sí es el literal enferma como un perro, pero as sick as a dog. Another as, potential as answer. Her stomach is killing her. Her stomach, we, her stomach is killing her. Very well. And now, how does Mr. Ruiz respond to the situation? Okay. Potential answers. He says he understands. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. And what else does he say? ¿Qué más le dice? Teacher, desconozco esa palabra. Eh, understand. Take... Que él entiende. Él dice que él entiende, que él comprende. He understands. Uh -huh. ¿Dónde está? Es, es, entiendo. Entiendo. Okay. He says he understands. Él le dice, te entiendo. Y lleva la S porque es tercera persona de singular. Ok. okay. Ah, entonces, okay. he says he understands. Two days ago, he was under the weather too. Yes? Y algunas personas, algunos compañeros lo escribieron 
literal, tal cual como está. How does uh, Mr. Ruiz respond to the situation? I understand. Two days ago, I was under the weather too. Yes? Here, you have it. I was feeling under the weather. Mm -hmm. I was feeling... We... Here. Here. Uh, two days ago, he was... I feeling, feeling under the weather too, okay? Very well. And now class, listen, I need you to be very focused on the next exercise. You're going to work also in the, in groups. This is, please pay attention at page 34. En la página 34 se lo estoy diciendo en español para que no anden en otra página, ¿ok? <laughs> at page 34. How to use idioms part one. Idioms are words or phrases which mean something different from their literal meaning. For example, to be up in one's ears in work means to have a lot of work. And then if you say, are you busy? Mm, yes, I am up in my ears, okay? So you say that you have a lot of things to do. Now you have these idioms here, as sick as a dog, under the weather too. There's something going around. My stomach is killing me. Take it easy, can't afford to. Call in sick, tip top shape. You have eight idioms. And in exercise five, you are going to match the meanings with the idioms in part four, with these idioms over here. Then compare with a partner, with another group, and you have the meaning of these idioms in the formal language, because this is informal, but they are used at every moment. My stomach hurts badly to be very sick, don't get confused with these two ones, okay? To relax, to rest, not feeling well, in great condition, don't have time to, many people have the same thing, to phone the office to say you are sick, okay? You are going to work right now in the breakout rooms and you are going to write over here. The number, or if you want to type the idiom, Next to the meaning, there is no problem, okay? My advice is to read carefully here and also to read the conversation because here in context is better to understand it. Is it okay? Comprendimos la actividad, clase. Tenemos los idioms y tenemos su significado acá. Acá van a escribir ya sea el número que corresponde o el idioma que corresponde, ¿sí? Yes. Para este eh, inglés formal y para este que es ordinary, a spoken language, lo que se habla a diario, ¿verdad? Coloquial. Correcto. Y para que contextualicen mejor, pueden hacer referencia a la conversación. ¿Ok? Hay algunos que son parecidos, dos son parecidos. ¿Ok? ¿En cuál página vamos a trabajar? Disculpen que pregunten. 34, 35, 35, 34, okay, so right now, here we go, let's try to participate all, okay, tratemos de participar todos, vamos a recrear este grupo, let me see, oh, sí, 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 sí. Okay, here we go. Join your groups, please. I sent you the invitation. Uh, Mirna Lisette, join your group. Luis Miguel, join, thank you. 
Tony, if it is possible to join the group just as a listener. And Mirna, join your group as a listener too. Uh, okay. Josue, hello. Josue, are you available? Hello, Josue Garcia. Hola, teacher. Eh, que me está fallando el internet, por aquí me saco de la sala. Sí, fíjese que usted está asignado al equipo 4, pero lo voy a mover a otro grupo para que le llegue la invitación, ¿le parece? Ok. Ok, en este momento al equipo 2. Ok, Tony. Thank you. Okay, okay, great, great, great. No, ah? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, in this team, you're very, very happy, guys. Okay. Uh, yes. Ah, oh, well, Matilio, you're here. Great. Okay, bye. <laughs> Recuerden analizar bien, no se me vayan a confundir que hay dos que son bien parecidos, okay? Pero... My stomach is hard belly. Ah, Hay otro por ahí también, ok, bye. 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 Bye, bye. Oh. Yes, we see it. Here you are, Stephanie, Norma, and Josué, ok? Ok. okay. Bye. Bye. Bien, Josué está con Josué. Yes. Mm, ok, lo vamos a escribir entonces. Ajá. Sería... Pero no me deja escribirlo también. Qué raro. Acabo de estar escribiendo en esto. De nuevo, clic derecho. Yo creo que aquí sí. Ok. Ok. Luego sería... El primero, por ejemplo, quizás. ¿Dónde está ahí? Yo no puedo ver mi cuadro. Ah, sí, 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 es cierto. Ya lo vi. Ya lo vi. <risa> El 2, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Under. In great condition. Many people. Yes, I'm still Can afford to. Can afford to. Mm -hmm. Pero la que es ahí, ¿verdad? Can. Can a TikTok shape. <laughs> Voy a ver, pero. I hope you're feeling very. I am too cliche. Um, there's something. 
Yo creo que can afford to sería alta. Don't worry. Okay. Bien. Bien. ¿Qué es la última? Ahí viene Darío de nuevo. Hello, aquí estoy de nuevo. Sí, eso lo dejaste hablando solo ahí. Me sacó esta vaina. Y se tardó en conectarme de nuevo. Ah, vale. Este, ah. El, el 8 que dice tu phone de office to say you are sick, debe ser el 7 de arriba que dice calling sick. Calling sick, ajá. Uh -huh. oh, ok. Or in sick. Okay. Okay. Many people have the something. Este, the, the six sentences don't have time to is uh, can afford to. Ajá, ajá. No me puedo permitir eso o algo así. Ajá, porque no, no tienen tiempo. Uh -huh. Ok. Ah, ok. Eh, entonces, no feeling well sería under the weather too. El, 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 ajá, el es así como he estado valiendo madre, he estado bajo la tormenta, algo así. Con, con el agua al cuello. Con el, bajo el agua. <risa> Con el agua al pescuezo. Ok. Como dicen por, los mexicanos, valiendo madre. Por la calle de la amargura. Este, ready. Y ready. el último que falta, quizás. En condición. mejor condición sería. Ajá. Dice, entonces sería aquí. En el. Cinco. Ajá. Vaya, bueno, que okay. entonces nos faltarían dos. Aquí sería under. No, pero ahí en el. Under the water two sería aquí, ¿no? No, feeling wow, well. ajá. Y la siete, ¿cuál le ha quedado? Oh, Colin Sick, ah, no, ya está. No sé, está. There are some things going around la que le hemos puesto. Ajá, sí. There's something going around. A nombre de tres. Ajá. Many people have a song. Así que haría. Is correct, teacher? No. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I, I check out number one and number two. 
Okay. Que cambiar el número uno con el número dos. <risa> Es que miren, uh, under the weather es como sentirse indispuesto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y el as, as a dog se usa especialmente, eh, más comúnmente para referirse a un malestar estomacal. Ah, uh, ok. Uh -huh. Ah, no, entonces. <risa> La cambió. ¿Cuál era la otra? No, ah, ahí my está so much. Ajá. To be very sick. So much is killing me. Is killing me. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And that's it. Okay, very well. There's something going, going around. Now we can say that in El Salvador. There's something going around. Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> yes, because a lot of people are very sick. Yes. My house. Really? <laughs> oh. Everybody with the flu. Yes. Or with the yes. other. COVID. <laughs> COVID. Uh, <laughs> really? Really? Yes. But mm. you're not. But you are not. You're no, I am not. Okay. But <laughs> you need to keep, you know, distance <laughs> from them. Yeah. And did you take the test, Miss? El, el, el test del COVID? Yes, I, I have negative. Okay, that's good. Because sometimes you don't have symptoms, but you have it and you are sharing it, you're spreading it. Okay. That's mm -hmm. good. So be careful. Because you don't know how your body is going to react. Sometimes it is kind of soft, but some other times it is different. Yeah. Okay, class. Now I think that everybody is done. Very well. So we're going to share because we need to continue working and we're going to use these idioms to construct a conversation. Okay. okay. Let's move. Let's return. I'm going to ask a group to share the answers. Okay, let's wait for the rest of the partners to return. Okay, class, here we go. I'm going to ask one team in order to share the potential answers. So we compare with the others. Do we have a volunteer, a team that volunteers? My team, our team is ready. Okay, please share. with the class and if it is possible you share the screen thank you
Okay, we have uh, my stomach hurts badly. Okay, read them. Okay, um, first three sentences. My stomach hurts badly. Is uh, my stomach is killing me? To be very sick correspond as sick as sick as a dog. To relax, to rest, take it easy. Uh, Nelly. Hola. Four, five, six. Um, not feeling well under the weather too. In great condition, tip top shape. Don't have time to, can offer to. Okay. Next. Number seven, many people have the same thing. There is something going around. Number eight, to phone the office to say you are six, call in six. Do you agree class, partially agree or disagree? Do you have any, any of these uh, sentences with the idioms that the meaning and the idioms that is different from yours? Uh, repeat, please. <laughs> if you have the rest of the class, if they have a different, a different meaning from yours, from the presentation. Si mm. tiene algún equipo algo diferente a lo que nos está presentando este grupo. Number one, my stomach is killing me. Number two, as sick as a dog. Number three, take it easy. Number four, under the weather too. Number five, tip top shape. Number six, can't afford two. Number seven, there's something going around. Number eight, call in sick. Are they okay? You have the same class? No teacher. Which Stop one do you have in number two? Right now. Okay, in number two. My stomach is killing me. Mm -hmm. In number one, uh, as a sick as a dog. Okay, but listen, uh, the way they have it is the correct one. Uh, I think, yes, mm -hmm. let me see, no. No, yes, you are right. I was uh, thinking about something else. Yeah, we need to switch number one and number two. I'm going to tell you why class, because uh, we use, well, they use as sick as a dog, especially for an illness that is regarding to us, to us, to the stomach. Okay. Utilizamos as sick as a dog para algún padecimiento o enfermedad o malestar que está relacionado al estómago. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. la primera and, la segunda. Yes, you have to switch any in the conversation. You can identify the contextualization, okay? Y en la conversación aparece también la, el contexto, yeah? That is why I told you from the very beginning, very, be very careful because there are two that are very similar, but they are not, okay? That is the only thing, but for the rest, they are the same, yes? Okay, congratulations, class. You did a great job. And you learned many idioms today, but now you're going to contextualize it. If you want to use it uh, or make it real for you, that's okay. But you have to create a conversation using these idioms. And, okay, it is the next exercise, exercise number six, because you have to create a conversation it could be similar to the one that you have in the manual, to this one. Okay, here, look at this. My stomach is killing me. I'm sick as a dog. I'm as sick as a dog. Porque está hablando de un malestar estomacal. Yes? And then here, 
as I was telling you class over here, you have per work, but we're going to do it in groups and then you take turns and you practice because you're going to create, okay? It is your production. One of you is sick and call, you have to call in to your workplace to explain the situation. Student B, you attend the call and ask your classmate what the matter is. Then you switch roles. Use four or five idioms in your conversation. You're not going to say uh, to relax, to rest, or I'm not feeling well. No, you have to use the idioms that are in here, okay? Like in the conversation. <clears throat> it can be about your stomach or your head, whatever, okay? Any other illness. And later you have to present the conversation in front of your classmates and teachers here in the main session room. This is at page 34. We are at page 34. Exercise six and seven in la página 34, three, four, 34, vamos a trabajar, okay? And you have to create a conversation similar, not equal, similar to the one that you have at page 33. Is that clear? Estamos claros con la, con la indicación del manual? Yes. Yes, okay. And you can recreate it because right now there are many illnesses or sicknesses around, yeah? But you have one if one of you is the employee who is sick and the other one is probably the, the supervisor, coordinator, the boss, okay? Or the manager, I don't know, or human resources and you have to react. So right now we move to the breakout rooms. And here we go. I expect that everybody's going to participate because you have to switch roles and you need to give ideas to create the conversation, okay? Let's go. I sent you the invitation. Join your groups class. Mirna Lisette and Norma Patricia go to group number two. Join your groups. They are waiting for you. Alguien enfermo de gripe y congestión algo así. O de fiebre y congestión. Antiflu. Uh, okay, sí, te la copiamos. Está en mute, teacher. Stephanie, ¿qué pasó con sus compañeros? Pues se retiraron. Josué, Josué, que está teniendo problemas con la conexión. Yo Josué, creo que sí. Y Norma también. Entonces la voy a unir a otro equipo, ¿ok? Ok. La voy a enviar al equipo 4. Ok. Yo la invitación en este momento, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, there you are. Sería La conversación Hello. están haciendo ya. Hello sí. class, here Hello. you are Carla Sofía, Sandra Leticia, Stephanie Carranza, and Wendy, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Se tienen que poner las cuatro en conversación o podrían ser dos conversaciones. No, the same conversation and you switch roles. Don't get in troubles. Ah, solo dos personas, se puede decir. Sí, y luego intercambian roles, pero tiene que ser creativa, ¿verdad? Con la conversación. Ok. Ok. 
Okay. Yeah. Sí. No me va a venir, digamos, de mañana. <laughs> ah, solo. Uh, this is the Rio. Hello, I am Nelly. Uh -huh. Teacher dijo, a mí se me puso inestable la, la, la conexión cuando estaba explicando cuáles eran los modismos que íbamos a utilizar, los idioms. Entre cuatro y cinco, porque como les dan ocho, ¿verdad? Entonces uh -huh. ustedes seleccionan. De, de estos rojitos, ¿verdad? Sí, de esos. Uh -huh. okay. Porque ya saben su significado, ¿correcto? Y pueden tomar como base la conversación que hemos practicado esta noche. Ok. Ok. Ah, perfecto. Ahorita continuamos entonces. Vos. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> This is Concepción. Concepción. I have a situation. Ok, aquí sería Celia, vea. Celia. Hi, Concepción. Tell me, what's the matter? Ok, aquí va Concepción. Mm -hmm. I am... I am not feel well today. Okay. I have a headache or a flu. No, es como ahorita estoy yeah, en, yeah, en el en doctor. Flu. Because I have a, have a flu. No, pero usando lo que vimos ahora, pero... sería. Que no se siente bien. Under the work. Sí. Under, under the water tú sería, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. <coughs> Recuerden que tiene que cambiar la, la enfermedad, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Ok. Entonces sería aquí. Utilizar uno de los uno de los de los de los idioms ahí podemos utilizar cualquiera ya de los de los idioms puede usar el número dos Este sería como eh, que usted me está respondiendo. No, puede ser usado en cualquier dirección. Puedo usarlo yo, puede usarlo sí. usted. Y me dice, mire, fíjate que le llamo porque estoy bien fregada. Como tipo, I feel under the water. Uh, ajá. Ajá. Uh -huh. Right now. Ahí puede utilizar otro modismo, incluso este otro idioms, ampliando la situación. Ahí se le puede poner un punto o, o una o cualquier cualquier y ver qué otro idioma cabe ahí. Uh, incluso no puede ser el estómago, podemos utilizar my head, my, my throat, my throat, 
My throat. My chest. Gar my chest, el pecho. La garganta está matando. Yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. And then... Este, ¿cómo se escribe? ¿El qué? La garganta. Tres TH. TH. R. O. A. T. My throat. Tía sin tomeiro. Trots. Al final lleva una T como en tomate. Yeah. Trots. Yeah. Okay. There is. Ok. Continue. Me está doliendo. O. Oh. Puede ser una variante también, pero lo que, lo que ocurre es que estos, estos idioms son utilizados así tal como, como cuando decimos llorando. Era como un pollo, un pollo con coco. Ah, oh, ya es así, que fue a chique. Chique. No se puede, ¿verdad? Porque son... No. Así, es como un dicho, algo así cuando dice. Sí, acá lo escuchan que ustedes le dicen que es un pollo con saco. No se puede modificar. <risa> Ajá. Pero my throat is killing me, sí, ¿verdad? Yes, of course. Okay, okay. The last week, no, last week, the last week, I was feeling under the weather too. Uh, last week. Uh, como decía de last week I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? Oh, no, 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 read what you have, girls. Maybe I can help you because time is running. Hola. Uh, lean lo que tienen, léamelo por favor para ver si les puedo ayudar porque ya un cuarto a las diez. Ok, bueno. Good morning, this is Miss Chévez. Mm -hmm. Hello, Miss Chévez, this is Sandra. I have a situation. I have a situation, ok. Uh, Hi, Sandra. Tell me mm -hmm. what's the matter. Sandra, I'm feeling bad, my throat, throat is uh -huh. killing me. I asked a sick as a dog as a dog yo ok understand the last week I was feeling on the water too ok and then you continue can't say so mm -hmm. <laughs>
There's something around. There's uh huh. Mm -hmm. And where the really? Really, I think there are really in serio. I think there is something around. Creo que anda algún virus por ahí. There's something around. Okay. And you say maybe my wow. my sister or my mother. Yeah. And, and my sister or my mother was. Uh, okay. Was, was sick too. <laughs> was sick of the throat last week. <laughs> last week. And then we continue. Okay, let me see. I'm going to. Ah, okay. So, it was a, a look at the conversation at the model because I cannot see it because. Uh, if I share my screen, I'm going to interrupt yours. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, lean el modelo de la... No, ahí está bien. Ah. <laughs> pero lean en el modelo de su conversación. Mm -hmm. De la conversación que está en el manual, que seguía. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo responde? Entonces, uh, and my sister mm -hmm. was sick of, the, of her throat of her throat uh, was sick of her of the throat last week estuvo enferma de la garganta la semana pasada and then maybe you say mm, she was under the weather like you she was under the weather like you was sick that's okay y de papeles Mm -hmm. She was under the weather like you. Ooh, like you. Like you, como usted, como tú. Like you. Under the weather like you. Like you. Mm -hmm. I hope she is, she is, uh, probably, I hope she is, um, she's better now. Le contesta, ¿verdad? Espero que ella esté bien ahora. And then the other person says, yes, she's um, tip top shape. There's something going around, sería, ¿verdad? Y que no puso eso ya arriba. Ah, sí. Ah, por eso le di. <risa> ok. Uh, she, she is, I hope she, she is better now. Better. And then the other person answers, yes. Yes. She, she is. is <laughs> in tip top shape. Yes. In tip top shape. In tip top. Tip top shape. Top shape. Y ahora ya la despedida. Pero en que... practice. Y practican. Ok. okay. 
everything. <laughs> My pleasure. Entonces contesta Atilio. Uh -huh. Hoy puede contestar Atilio con la frase que estaba. Casi Ajá. todo el mundo está enfermo de eso. Ajá. Ah, correcto. Está de moda. There's something going around there. Mhm. Así vea. Mhm. ¿Está bien así? ¿O le cambiamos? ¿Le agregamos algo más? ¿Qué podría contestar ahí Pablo? Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, of course. Yes, yes of course. Esas dos son, no, esa no la digo yo, sería, sería Tilio, esa va completa. Ah, sí, es cierto, esa va completa. Listen to me, class, what Atilio says, good morning, Pablo, I sent to the medical disability from Concepción. Te envío la, la incapacidad de Concepción, ¿sí? ¿Eso quieren yes. decir? Yes. Ok. Yes. yes. Good morning, yes. Pablo. Le falta la foto, ¿verdad? Good morning, Pablo. I sent you. I sent you. You. The you. Med, uh, okay, I sent you. Eliminate two. I sent you Concepción's medical disability. I sent you Concepción's medical disability. Le quita el de. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Medical disability. And from Concepción, tú. I need to process the, and I need to process the disability, okay? Or I need to process it, porque ya se sabe que están hablando de, de la incapacidad, okay? Oh. And, and you eliminate the disability. It. Mm -hmm. it. It. Uh -huh. Okay. And now you are ready. Mm -hmm. There's something around. Lo que iba a decir, of course, ¿verdad? Ajá. Si quiere, cambiamos, Pablo, y habla más usted. The, the sometimes <laughs> girl, the sometimes girl, Ahora ve, veamos si. Ahora lo más grande. Eso, sí, ahorita. No lo veo. Cumplimos lo yeah, que I dice ahí, que eran cinco frases. Ok, great, excellent. Lo dejamos así, vea. Yes. Sí, sí, no, para, para poner el acero, se va a hacer. You have a nice day. 
<risa> ¿Qué dice? Ay. Después de palco, Pablo dice, of course, you have a, you have a nice day. Ah. Ah, no, estaba más chido como le dijo él. Ay, la conversación de ahora. Ay, caramba. ¿Cómo le dijo? Así. Have a nice rest of the day. Of the day. Yes, that's it. El resto del día. Oh, no, yes. el resto del día. Miss, can you magnify? Cosa. Can you magnify probably to number the letters? Maybe number 16 so everybody can see it. I mean, when they are reading, because you're going to share, right? Okay, now you are ready to present in front of the class. Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay, let's get back. Congratulations. Okay, activate the cameras because I'm going to call your names for the second attendance because you were really focused creating the conversation. Okay, here we go. Atilio. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Brandon, uh, he's in a funeral. Claudia, she's absent. Concepción. Okay, Darío, Darío. I am here, teacher. Okay, uh, Stephanie. Stephanie Carranza. Present. Okay. Josué. Present teacher. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Marianne. Marianne Scarlett. Today absent. Marina Jansi. Absent today. Mirna Lisette. Mirna Lisette. Nelly, Nelly, thank you. Nelson. Present teacher. Okay, Nelson. Norma. Present teacher. Present. Pablo. Here. Present. Present teacher. Sandra. Leticia. Present teacher. Wendy, Miss Wendy, okay, Miss Carla, present, and Miss Christy, Celia Cristina, okay, present. thank you so much, now it is the time for, uh, <clears throat> the, we only have three groups, okay, we're going to listen to Atilio, Celia, Concepcion, and Pablo, begin please, share your screen. <laughs> The fortune.
Okay. Good morning. This is Miss Elia. Concepción. The microphone, Concepción. Hello, Miss Elia. This is Concepción. I have a situation. Hi, Concepción. Tell me, what is a better? I'm not feeling well today. I stay in the doctor because I feel sick with fever and flu. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better and need to send the medical disability to the human research manager. Send to Atilio Ernesto. Good morning, Pablo. I send you Concepcion medical disability and I need you to process it. Okay, I check the disability and I will pass the action to pay her for the day. There, something gone around. Pablo? Okay, ah, I press. Okay, I check the disability. I will pass the action to the pay her for the day of disability. There, some time gone around. Of course, you have a nice rest of the day. Ay, caramba. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you very much. Great. Congrats. <laughs> Now let's listen to Darío, Luis Miguel, Nelly, and Nelson. Are you ready or not? You're not. Okay, yes. here we go. Let's listen. Uh, lo de nosotros es solo de dos porque se nos olvidó. No problem, that's great. Begin. Hello, this is Dario. Hello, this is Nelly. I have a situation. Good morning, Nelly. Tell me, what happened? I'm feeling under the water right now. My throat is killing me. Really? There is something going wrong. Have you taken any medication for that? Can I for two? I take it easy at home. Okay, Nelly. I hope to see you tip top shape the next Monday. Thanks. See you Monday. Very well, great, creative. And now the other group, is it ready? Um, Stephanie, Carla, Sofia, Norma, Patricia, Sandra, Leticia, and Wendy. And the microphones, please. Oh. Okay. Este, sí. Bueno. Good morning. This is Miss Chévez. Hello, Miss Chévez. This is Sandra. I have a situation. Hi, Sandra. Tell me, what's the matter? I am feeling bad. My throat is killing me. I am a six adult. Okay, I understand. <laughs> The last week I was feeling on the weather too. Oh, really? I think there's something around. And my sister was sick. sick and she was under the weather like you. I hope she's better now. Yes, she is in tip top shape. Thanks, Miss Chavez. Leria, Leria Stephanie. Okay. No. No. Or only one Yes, I know, but Bye. only one <laughs> representatives. Yes, I know that everybody works, but only a representation of okay. the of the group. Yeah, because of the time is <laughs> yes, but great. I uh, 
I clap for your enthusiasm, okay? <laughs> Class, you did a great job tonight. Congratulations, excellent work. And um, I have to ask Miss Celia Cristina to stay here with me, please. And she said, oh, no, my God. And the rest of the class continue working in the platform and have a great rest of the day and be careful, okay? In the weekend, enjoy it, but... Don't forget the hand sanitizers and the face mask. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Happy sleep. Take bye. care. Bye-bye. See you Monday. Good night. Bye-bye. Take good care. Night. See you. Bye-bye. 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 Because Miss Celia wants to finish as soon as possible. Okay. I'm so sorry, Miss Celia, but it is a requirement. No problem. Okay. <laughs> okay here, Miss Celia. Uh, we're going to practice reading, okay, for a while, conversation. Okay. So you can, so you can practice it. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> uh, I'm Mr. Reese and you are Chani, okay? Good morning. This is Mr. Reese. Okay. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Jani. I have a situation. Hi, Jani. Tell me what's the matter. I'm not feel well today. My stomach is killed me. I am a sick adult, as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. <laughs> no. <laughs> Si me mueve la, la imagen que no se ve. Oh, Thanks a lot, Mr. Reed. Yes, have a nice rest of today. Of the, of the day. date. Okay, now you are Mr. Reese and I am Johnny. Okay. okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Reese. Uh, hello, Mr. Reese. This is Johnny. I have a situation. Hi, Johnny. Tell me what's the matter. I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the water too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in deep top check. Day is easy, Yanni. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, so here, no problem, I think, right? And now mm -hmm. here, let's move over this conversation that we were practicing yesterday, yeah? So you begin, you are Luke and I'm George. Okay. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables or plugged? The cables are plugged. Cables are plugged. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I hear that. Has the maintenance team replaced the bacteria? No, but it is. But it is. No, but they have. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technique the technical is coming. Great. Great. I hope he can fix the problem. Now I begin. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn out. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. 
Uh, yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix his problem. Okay. Only remember batteries, maintenance, replacing, has checked. Okay. And have you checked? Only those words. And over here, let's practice this one. Dorian begins. Oh, okay. I am Ramon and you are Dorian. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. So we we'll report a fault on one of your machines. You will have a look at it. You are right. You know, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. This complex machine has a lot of comments. I need to take the metal calcing of the very feet if it is meat or packed or what. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take oh, the metal what? casing off to verify if it is a minor, minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once or for night to make sure they are not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. Now, you don't, you Ramon and I am Dorian. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. You are right. You know, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This it's a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to verify if it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they're not down. And what happened is they are? We will have to extend the shot, okay? Now okay. the other conversation. Mm -hmm. Here, <laughs> paragraph one. <laughs> I read paragraph one and you read paragraph two and so on, okay? Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say. That assumption is mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. What's the most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switch on. They are not mind readers. An imperative when delivering clear instructions is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry. Acronyms to who? To contact in different departments or organizations. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Now you. Be two. Eh? Yes, number two. Be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle drinking in make maple story, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation and specifically not in the email or when it is sent of instructions, which you don't want to read on your set of instructions that will be was of your time and to be honest. They switch off after a while. You don't want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer done not to butter, butter, butter as well. Butter it up. 
pattern gap and will rather get straight to be point and what needs to be a sec a actions. Actions. actions or delivered actions or Action. delivered actions actions or delivered no Either. no action no Stop it. Actions oh. is the noun, acciones, pero esto es verbo en pasado. Action. Actions. Okay. Or, or deliver. Greater than my kids, the instructions of story, which will only confuse. Okay. My, my, my kids, sería. Okay. We have spatially waste. Waste of time, waste. waste of money, concise, action, making, flowery. Now read number three, Flower. please. Mm -hmm. Give me the phrase. Do not confuse matters by not being specific with your time frames and delights. What you consider as so might be very different from your college. If you think so, is the next couple of hours that you staff who have instruction considered is to be in a few days, then this communication is going to have serious implications in, in business or projects. Okay, we have second. time, colleagues. Colleagues, colegas, porque college es eh, college. la universidad o los tecnológicos, college. Uh -huh. Colleagues, 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 colegas, colleagues. colleagues. Instructed implications. Okay? And the Instructed. last one, instructed implications. English. Implications. Implications. Okay, now the last one. Implications. Excellent. Now the last one, el último. Give examples. Give examples. Whenever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be a specific beneficial if they are new to role of if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help to add clarity to your instructions and help for a clear pictures of what is you mean and want. Okay, especially clear. clearer. Clearer. Comparative. Clearer. clearer. Okay, Miss, uh -huh. thank you so very much for being here, giving me your time. <clears throat> Have a good night, and I hope to see you Monday, okay? Take care. Be careful okay. with your health. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night.